Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. Hope you're all feeling amazing. And also Scorpio, happy new year. It's already 2022. So hope the, you know, the year has started off fantastic for all of you. So for those that are new to my channel, it is a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning to my channel and for these readings, thank you very much. Welcome back. Scorpio, your time is very precious and valuable. I want to honor it, so let's jump straight into it. Let's clear the deck for you. And as the title does suggest, you saw the cover, it is for those that are not in contact with a specific person though. So this could be someone even that you are admiring from far away, perhaps you're not talking, nothing has happened yet. This could be someone that you're on a break with, for example, or someone that from your past that you have permanently disconnected from. And perhaps you're just even curious to know, are they going to make a move? What is their next move? And if they do, what energies are they bringing um, with you? Perhaps you're inclined also, Scorpio, to reverse the roles. Maybe you want to make the first move as well. So it's a really good reading because it can actually show the potential. Um, but it, this could actually also show perhaps maybe for some of you, you may end up dodging a bullet depending on the energies that they're bringing. So let's see. Here we go. For Scorpio, please. For the collective watching this, for no contact with a person of interest, no contact, what will be their next move and what energies are they bringing toward Scorpio? That Scorpio should be aware of, please. One more. It's going to get a really good shuffle here for you. Everything and anything Scorpio should know about, please, for their highest good. And always for their highest good, please, for Scorpio. Here we go. Three more. Two more. Ooh. Highlighted message there. Thank you. And last one. So for those that are new to my channel, you may notice from time to time that when I'm shuffling, we have like one or two cards that are kind of raising their hand to be noticed. They don't want to be part of the spread, but this is a message on its own. So highlighted messages, dominant messages or jumping cards here. Pretty much all the same. So it's usually a really important message here that perhaps what they're thinking or what they're doing or the potential of the reading is the Knight of Pentacles. So we have very strong Virgo energy, but this could also be a Taurus or a Capricorn. And you, listen, your person can be any star sign, but this is my favorite night. It is the slowest moving night. I get it. that can be quite frustrating if we don't have patience. But you see, the reason why this is my favorite night is because it appears that, well, all nights are about messages and changes, but it appears that your person's intentions here is to actually come back and hopefully be seen by you as someone very grounded, practical as well, very grown up <laughs> and now, um, more loyal, more loyal than ever. And they do want to offer you, as we can see, they're slowly offering you something that is very promising of value here. This shows a passage of time. So either you've known this person for a very long time or the last time you saw this person, it feels like it was eons ago. Um, but we are here telling you that there's going to be a change here. There is something that's going to be shifting, but it's, it's quite promising. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So if you've been waiting for this person <laughs> or you've been waiting to hear from them or see what's going to happen, here they come. So we've got the chariot cancer energy um, here at the bottom first card now you must know that this is the fastest moving energy in the entire deck there is nothing faster than the chariot now for some of you you actually may be physically at a distance like different countries or interstate that's not the case though because regardless of the geography there could be that emotional distance here that as time has passed it's almost like we're wondering, I can't feel their energy anymore, or I wonder what they're up to. And they may be wondering, you know, do I ever cross Scorpio's mind? Now, this is a lot of movement coming towards you. If you can see the sheer determination on this person's face, they're coming towards you and they want victory. They want this change. However they approach you, whatever they say, they want it to really work out though. So I really wanted to know early on, are they actually going to make a move? Uh, yes, they are and it's wow yeah they know what they need to do we have the two of wands after all that's aries energy so again the person is holding the globe you know the earth there the world so they could be at a certain distance but it's like meeting you in the middle and all the twos are about choices and decisions but they know what they need to do though they've left one decision behind they're holding on to one here and this always means stepping into the unknown they're making the active choice here to make that first step toward you though however slowly though from slowly then really fast and here they come though 
Um, and what do they want? Well, the two of wands can mean, for example, many new things, but also new love and new partnership with you. And what else are they seeking? Oh, wow. Well, you've got the emperor. That is Aries energy. It is a divine masculine. It is all the kings wrapped up into one. They're definitely going to be taking action towards you. And I feel like it's going to happen a lot sooner than later. And we can see this as your overall energy. It's going to happen, well, first action. And then I really, I really want to see, you know, what this is their next move. They're, they're going to be taking action towards you. Look at that. They're really going to step up. It's very boss energy. It's very grown up energy. That's why I picked up before that they're crossing their fingers that you're going to perceive them as someone that this is someone that's worthy. This is someone that has changed. They've grown up here. They're more confident. And that two of pentacles here is kind of weighing up the options here on how to approach you. I feel like for a very long time, they've been kind of like going back and forth on how to approach you. And now they're narrowing it down though but of course it is your decision here and we're going to get some clarity with the ace of swords so i do like their intentions already is to come forth and be really honest with you this is a breakthrough where something has to give someone has to make the first move and it's going to be your person let's get to the main reading and see how it connects and marries with the overall energy is the eight of pentacles more virgo energy you may know this person connected through your professional life so even if it's um, a work friend or a colleague here maybe you met them through um, introductions acquaintances studies finances or employment but regardless here of where you met them though this is the thing and that's just confirming for you if that's your story but this is about putting the hard work into this the love the loyalty the effort where you pretty much they don't want you to lift a finger they want to redeem themselves through actions not through words what else do we have yeah, because of something they did. And look at this, the Five of Cups, that's you. That's Scorpio energy. I think this person left you feeling very disappointed of how things turned out. And they know here how disappointed you are in them. They know here how, you know, whatever happened here in the past, why things ended, though, I think it really hurt you, though. But there is a still a part of you, however small, at the corner of your heart. There we've got two cups representing both of you. You still have hope, though. Even though you're looking in another direction for happiness, though, you know, there's probably a reason why we keep coming back to each other. There could be just really unfinished business here. They're really going to have to work here to kind of, you know, lift your head up and say, I'm, I'm sorry, because fives are about regret here. The High Priestess, Pisces energy. Dare I say that they were not being very honest with you in the past. The High Priestess is the keeper of secrets, mysteries, sacred knowledge, important conversations, even white lies. Everything that is unseen, they were keeping that from you. And I think you know that. But this is a time now, Scorpio, to listen to your intuition now, to your heart space. Not Let's get out of our head. Not be, you know, let's not listen to the ego, which is 100% not psychic. If anything, I'm seeing a lot of you are really in tune with your intuition here, where you can read the, you know, you can read the signs. You can read between the lines and you can smell BS a mile away. Um, and I think here, yeah, you know a lot more about the situation that perhaps they give you credit for, which is why they have to put in double time here for you. We have the three of wands, Aries energy. It's a really good omen to get this card. Um, and again, your person knows what they need to do because they're holding on to that stuff. I feel that both of you are waiting for each other. But if anything, more from your person's side, they are waiting for the right moment to strike, to approach you. This could even be perhaps I'll approach Scorpio um, on their birthday or I actually don't think it's going to they're going to wait until Scorpio season. But you know, if anything, it's like, oh, maybe I'll do it on a Friday. Maybe Scorpio will be in a better mood or I'll, I'll approach Scorpio when I'm feeling better about myself. My courage is better. or I really know how to approach him and I really know what to say here. But it's it's going to require a lot of effort here on their part, especially because of perhaps the last memory you have of them. It's the beating heart of your reading. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't think they were ready you see and the reason why i say that is because i don't feel like they saw the true value in you in in if anything i would not be surprised if your person in the past was married or committed to someone else and i say that why because the queen and the king of pentacles are usually already 
married or they're really committed they've got their family most likely there are children here as well so just being you you're trying to be with you was a lot of hard work and effort here as well so it's like they decide to go back to what was comfortable what they knew what they already had leaving you like this and that's not nice um and i think also they didn't see the true value now they're seeing you as this is someone i really want to commit to now because if anything you're coming across as someone very grounded you know wise beyond your years but is it too little too late though that's the thing i think they're keeping this to themselves though yep justice libra energy notice how the scales are balanced there may be a hot topic here of some form of secret separation or divorce that's been happening uh you probably know about this but i think you know a lot more about the situation as i said than what they give you credit for here what i like is that the scales are completely balanced on its own justice means yes so they may make secret moves towards you do they want to commit to you and wait for the right moment to strike absolutely yes we know now what is their next move and why they're coming back is <laughs> because they do want to commit to you but i feel there's been some kind of legality some separation divorce signing of documents here um, this is a genuine apology, but they're going to have to back everything up with facts because we do have the Ace of Swords, which is all about clarity, where you realize, and you've always known this, Scorpio, it was never you. It was them. Absolutely. Clarity, yeah. So Nine of Swords, if you've been blaming yourself, now you're going to have that clarity where it's like, yeah, we have to stop doing that. This was definitely nothing. It was nothing that you did here. But they're going to have to make up for lost time here as well. Hopes, fears, and wishes. We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we know that Knights are all about messages, all about changes. This will be the romantic kind. And this Knight of Pentacles is giving you a solid change to prove to you and work through it that they're not going to break your heart again. They're not going to give you that Five of Cups. So again, we've got some apologies here. This sense of reconciliation here, of trying to re-spark that romance again, trying to bring it back up here as well. What do we have in the near future though? Because clearly um, I'm seeing here that they are pretty much going to have to work overtime here to even reach you, to kind of get you in a nice corner and say, will you listen to me? So what's happening in the near future is you. We have judgment. That is strictly Scorpio energy. It's the card of resurrection, of bringing something back to life. It's about second chances. I'm seeing here though, Scorpio, that you and your person have had big epiphanies here a big spiritual awakening now you know you in retrospect are looking at this situation with a different set of eyes so the question is um do you even want to talk to them do you even want to take them back though that's a question because i see that you're probably willing to hear them out but um i'm not seeing enough cups here to see that you actually you may love them but are you in love with them that's very different though um, but yeah, you are seeing the situation, it's raw state, and they know that this is your call and only your call. So what's the outcome? Is the Seven of Swords, though? Hmm. Aquarius energy. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to work double time here to earn your trust back. I don't think you're trusting the situation 100%. Yeah, and there you are. That's the Scorpio energy, the tower. You may very well actually say no to them. But will they give up? No. I see that they're going to have to work for it too many mysteries i don't think you really trust the situation and i feel it's almost like no i wouldn't say it's that you don't trust yourself it's i don't know i'm honestly feeling that there is not enough trust here like you love them as i said but you're not in love with them anymore and here they come back to try and resurrect something though but the thing is whatever happened in the end it was very unjust it was very unruly it wasn't fair mm. And this is what I think what's a bit more disappointing is that um, they may secretly still be with this person. Even if there is separation, divorce, they probably are still living together. Something like that. Mm, let's see. Not really liking their energy though. Three more. I definitely feel that they want a new beginning with you, but um, you may actually keep this person permanently at arm's length. Scorpio please and their person everything and anything that Scorpio should know about for their highest good and always for their highest good three more two more and last one all right here we go bottom of the deck is the world 
and this will directly impact you though in a positive way though because in the world here we do have Taurus Leo Aquarius and we have you we have Scorpio here again showing me that there could be some distance I'm really picking up for the vast majority of you this is that emotional distance now I think you have kind of emotionally either you know close the door on them or, or they're, you know at least like I said you're keeping them at arm's length now this is the end of a tough cycle though this is a card saying congratulations Scorpio you survived it you've learned massive lessons here um, you're never going to allow it to be repeated again but clearly they do want a brand new cycle with you I mean it's a funny way for me to say that they think the world of you after what they did here I just feel here that there are still some secrets and I think you know that and that's what bothers you let's see yeah so we've got the king of pentacles the queen and the king of pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn you're not yet on the same sp on the same page you know if if we were clarifying here, if that were here, I would say that there is potential and it may take time though. Definitely saying that this person absolutely adores you. We have the Two of Cups, Cancer energy known as the true card of love. Um, and that's the thing, you know, this person may be in love with you and they want a second chance and all that, but we are definitely seeing a third party situation here with the Queen of Swords. The sword is pointing up. We have two queens here. Even if we had two kings, um, regardless of gender or same-sex relationship um, I think there's still too many people around this connection something's going to shift here because we have the judgment as well and we have the Sun my favorite card Leo energy pure happiness joy bliss I think this is how you make them feel but the question is what are they prepared to do about it I think there's still a lot going on here behind your back that you don't know and perhaps they may even tell you the truth that could bring a lot of happiness but let's get the full story eight of pentacles is clarified by the page of cups for some of you there may be already children involved but the thing is now in retrospect you're seeing as what they did to you in the past as really really emotionally mature it doesn't matter how old this person is it's like at that age they shouldn't be doing this you can expect it from a seven-year-old but or a ten-year-old but not from them but we are seeing some messages here about how much they want to work on this apologies messages backed by love fueled by emotions but yet there is still some disappointment here on your part from them that is kind of shrouding this so let's talk about you is the magician Wow Gemini and Virgo energy I think you're very uncertain I think that it doesn't matter how much time has passed it doesn't hurt any less do I actually want to manifest this brand new beginning with this person yes or no there could have been some lies manipulation that is the shadow side um, of the magician perhaps you saw a side to them that you really didn't like and it bothers you so that's why they're saying listen to your intuition let's see perhaps there is a chance we have the ace of Pentacles they certainly want a brand new beginning with you Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, mm, I think this is going to take time this is something now that they want to show to you that this is promising it's big it's commitment it's solid this means marriage perhaps you know within the year they want to prove to you how serious they are but again I want to know what they're hiding still though let's see let's talk about the three of wands is the nine of swords Gemini energy so part of these messages and how um, the reason why they're also taking their sweet time why they're delaying themselves is what guilty conscience and I'm not surprised this card is strongly linked to feeling very um, guilty nervous anxious quite lonely as well losing sleep having weird dreams nightmares um, as well and that's all just because I have that guilty conscience and they all say say that with the nine of swords it's guilt seeks punishment so they're probably not treating themselves very good um, and it's almost like they know that to a certain extent they have no right to come back and ask you for a second chance but you know if you were to say no they know they kind of deserve it as well let's talk about the queen of pentacles is the ten of wands Sagittarius energy now this is known as a very high stress card if anything probably the most stressful card on um, well in the entire deck though each single one there represents a lesson that they have learned they do want to drop it though and I feel like with you there is a chance to drop it though but this is going to be your call though and I think that's what's making them so stressed is that power to you Scorpio you have the chance to permanently close this door forever and I think for you it's a big decision as well because you have a soft spot for this person absolutely at one point you probably believe that they were actually the one as well that this was destined and then if something happened where they showed their true colors let's talk about justice Queen of Pentacles again mm, 
Queen of Pentacles right next to each other. That's interesting though. I think your person, um, I'm inclined to say this was definitely, they had someone. They were committed, engaged or married here. But there is something going on within, within their relationship here. Something with legalities, some separation, some divorce here. I think they've actually even tried to make it work and it's still not happening. And I think that's why you're in this state of massive distrust now. Let's talk about the Knight of Cups, justice again. Wow. They really, really want to make this right. I think they're desperate to because I can't stand being like this. I'm not seeing that there's a lot of love in that um, connection. So I'm already seeing there is a third party and whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, they're probably causing them a lot of grief here as well, but they want to make things right here with you. I'm seeing so many apologies. It's like they cannot apologize enough though. Mm. They want to set the record straight here as well. Let's talk about you. Yeah, decision time, see? Second time we're seeing it. Two of Pentacles twice. Capricorn energy. You're like weighing up your options. And I'm getting here also, the, the big element for 2023 is that you don't want to waste your time. And let's go around, let's do all of this again where we try and then we don't talk and then we try and we don't talk again. So for you, this is a very big decision and it's an important one because you may love this person um, you may, it may pain you to let them go, but you're going to do what is right for you, which ultimately brings you happiness. Let's talk about that Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles. I think they want to talk to you face to face. Very strong Capricorn energy. There may be a difference, age difference here, also between the both of you. Mm, I want to make you a small offer, but I don't think you're trusting it. One more. Yeah, the High Priestess, because it's still too much mystery. It's almost like, I think it's a bit frustrating if you ask your person a question, and even though they want to tell you the truth, though, it's almost like they it almost take, they dance around it before they actually tell you the truth, though. And I think your intuition is telling you that there's something still that they're missing. Um, they're not really telling you. Let's split the energy. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, I think, you know, this is someone that may be in and out of your life, a bit wishy-washy, and you're not going to stand for it. I think you are going to find your own happiness somewhere else. Thank you. Four of Swords. That's you gathering your thoughts, your energy. There's the Eight of Pentacles again. It's too much work, I think. I, I think that's what you're realizing now. It's just too much work. That this third party, this Queen of Pentacles will always, always be there. It doesn't matter um, what you do. You've got a brand new start somewhere else. Yeah, got the Ace of Cups. You meet, you actually, and I'm dare do I say this, you actually may meet someone new within this month. And let's be generous with time. I'll say February as well. And even March, they're showing me. Yep. Yeah. You're moving on. Yeah, and this ends up being a singles reading. We've got brand new love here. You might meet someone abroad if you're traveling here as well. If not, this is just movement. We've got this is love messages, Cupid's arrow. It's the second fastest moving energy. And with the strength card, it could be a Leo. You might meet them around Leo season, but I feel like this is going to happen a lot more sooner possibly let's say January, February, and this is your courage. It's building up your confidence, your self-esteem, learning to love again though. So suddenly this turned into a singles reading where I don't think you're actually going to give this person another chance because that trust, it has been completely severed. It's not hanging on a thread. It's just completely cut and you've got someone brand new. It's like they're literally here waiting around the corner for you just to notice them. This is amazing. Ended up being a singles reading, but you've got a brand new start coming towards you, Scorpio. You're not going to be single for much more longer. And I think you've got this realization that this has reached the end of its course, the finish line, and that's it. And good judgment here, because it leads to what? The happiest card in the deck, pure happiness, joy, bliss, blessings, illumination here, and the return of physical health. So, and I might add here that this new person is going to provide a lot of emotional health here as well. This person's very different. They're going to get straight to the point because they know what they want. And Scorpio, you know what you want. So keep your eyes and your ears open for the next month or two for the people that come into your life, especially new people, because there's a lot of potential there. And the strength card does speak of unconditional love. Very different. No strings attached. Someone clean, a brand new clean slate. No wonder you got the Ace of Swords because you're going to get your clarity about what to do. So Scorpio. I hope this gave you some clarity. I thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next couple of days with a brand new reading, fresh new topic. And I wish you the very best and also happy new year and power to you. Brand new start. Excellent. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.